Friends, welcome again to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Seishu, and today I'm with uh, a photographer and blogger, uh, Christine Tremolet. Christine is uh, based out of Houston, uh, but now we're talking to her uh, somewhere in Canada. She wouldn't tell me where. So um, I don't want the Mounties to find me. That's right. That's right. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it all on the on the down low. Um, we are really here to talk about her new project called Vivid and Brave. And you know, Christine, when I first read the website's mission statement, uh, I was kind of bummed. Do you know? Do you know why? Can you I know why. Tell me. Tell me why. Uh, because our our um, goal is to work with creative women. Right. <laughs> who blog for their businesses. Right, right. And I was like, hmm, why is that? Uh, so let's start with that question, shall we? Put you on the hot seat. And tell me a little bit why why is it so important for you and Stephanie O to work with women? Um, Stephanie and I both have worked for years in the photography industry, specifically with women. Um, I've been a boudoir photographer, and she works with women on the motherhood journey. And um, that's actually how we met, is through photography and through uh, things that we've done in that venture. And what we've learned over the years is women tend to silence themselves. They, they tend to have more fear about saying how they, their honest truth, speaking how they feel. And um, men don't seem to have that hang up quite so much. I think they do, but in a different way. And in a way that we're not experienced working with. We are just both more drawn to women. Um, we, we did actually talk about what we would do, though, if the right men came. Like, maybe sometime we'll have to launch, like, one group that's just men. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we'll have to interview them all first. They'd all have to clear, you know, like, clear the test. Um, but what we found more so is women em embrace being vulnerable more, but it's almost like we have to have permission to be vulnerable and to speak our truth and to be honest and authentic with ourselves. Um, and a lot of that, uh, at least from what I found in working and doing boudoir photography for so long is the media uh, that we're so conditioned to think that we have to be perfect and we have to fit in this perfect box and we have to uh, look right and act right and be successful. And so we start to hide. We start to mask all of our other true feelings. Give you an idea as to what someone who wants to sign up for Vivid and Brave can expect. I know you've got some explanation on the website, but uh, some of it seems like, you know, <laughs> Undercovers and under under wraps in the way where you know it's 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 almost like you want people to sort of chime in, write to you, and say, okay, well, I'm interested in doing this, and then there may be some follow-ups from you guys uh, in terms of what it is that um, they can expect. Right. Um, what we're doing is a three-month long program, and in the first month of our program, we will go through and do um, actually all all twelve weeks involve journaling prompts Monday through Friday, and then they involve homework that we give out. Um, we do a weekly call every Thursday, and on the weekly call, we give the homework. If somebody has to miss the call, we'll also then um, send it to them in writing as well, just in case they miss the call. The first month, our focus, and unfortunately, all my posters fell off the wall. The first month, our focus is just getting authentic with ourselves and digging in. And while we're doing that, we will also be creating vision boards and thinking more, you know, what's our future look like? What are we working towards? The second month is a celebration of who we've discovered that we are because we're all unique. We all have different passions. And during that month is uh, various tasks to declare it to the world. And then the third month, we will do a personal project. Uh, I think a lot of times, especially those of us that are self-employed business owners, uh, we're so wrapped up in what we do for work that we stop doing personal projects after a while. Um, as 
you and I talked about before our call started. I actually in in the middle of my own personal project right now on a really rather epic road trip. But not everybody does that and not everybody has time to. And mm -hmm. so it's kind of, we're setting aside time uh, to do either a small or large personal project, whatever they choose to do. And that will be the the completion of the third month is is you know sharing what our personal projects are. Um, I'm curious about the the length of the the course uh, the program. Uh, it's three months. Why only three months? Why not through the year? Um, initially, we wanted to start with three months. We think it's a a good amount of time for people to commit to walk through the process, etc. Uh, we've already talked about and planned that if people come to us, uh, Stephanie and I have a lot of experience already uh, doing mentoring. We've been mentors now for two years with Team X. And so we are working on plans to where if somebody then wants to, after they finish the program, if they want to go through and coach with us to um, work out the rest of how this impacts their business. This, all of this is very personal discovery. Mm -hmm. If they then want to take it back and uh, you will naturally apply some of it to your business on your own. But if they want to go through the process that we've been coaching people through for the past two years and apply it even further to their business, they can, uh, we will be working on setting up that portion over the next few weeks. Um, you've mentioned Team X, and for most people uh, who haven't heard, what is Team X? Team X is uh, Jeff Yoakum's coaching program. That that is um, Stephanie and I met at WPPI in Las Vegas, the Wedding Portrait Photographer Conference, and I was already working with Jeff Yoakum as my business coach, and Stephanie then met him and also started working with him as her business coach, and. That's both of us really changed our businesses through working with Jeff. Uh, I discovered that weddings are fun. I love photographing weddings. I still second shoot occasionally for for friends, but for me, weddings aren't fulfilling. And it was through coaching with Jeff that I learned about myself that part of why I was so drawn to boudoir photography is helping women grow their confidence and helping women. Uh, get to a point of feeling like you are enough. I spent a good portion of my 20s and 30s not feeling like I was enough. I was never, I dated someone for eight years and I was never enough. And I held on to that feeling for another 10 years after that relationship ended. And so when I do boudoir photography, I help women see that they are enough, just like they are. And uh, part of that was with coaching with Jeff. And over time, as Jeff took on additional coaching clients, he formed a mentoring program. And then now we work with those coaching clients as their mentor and help them through the coaching process as well. And I've taught, as a matter of fact, part of my road trip this summer involved teaching a fight club workshop in Denver with De with Jeff too. So uh, it's, it's an amazing program for you know, some people go through and they just identify, you know, oh, I photograph weddings and this is why I want to photograph them. But everybody that's gone through really talks about how it impacts their whole life and changes everything. So That's wonderful. Um, when does Vivid and Brave uh, begin? Is it is it an October 1st launch? Uh, it, is that what you're looking for? It's October 3rd. October 3rd, okay. Yeah, so it is October 3rd and then for 12 weeks. Actually, hang on. I have to get an actual calendar out. October 3rd may be the date of the first call, if that's a Thursday. I don't okay. have a calendar out. It is the first week of October. All right. Okay. Um, is this geared really only towards uh, photographers or creative women in general, or is it just women in general who just need to... It's geared towards creative women... Our goal is to work with women who blog for their business. They can be photographers. Okay. They can, you know, I'm more than welcome to be photographers. Obviously, most photographers, what happens right now is when most of us, when we write a blog post, it's, I, I, I'll use weddings as an example because it's the easiest to, you know, I photographed this wedding and it was really pretty. And we don't talk about ourselves. And I think ultimately your clients, when you are self-employed, 
a solo entrepreneur, your clients are booking you and they want to know you more than anything. And so it's definitely, it's geared towards women who blog for their business. They can, they can be bloggers full time. They can be photographers. They can be, um, we've been talking recently with someone that wants to be a birthing coach. Uh, it's anyone though, who just craves to bring out their authenticity into their writing on their blog. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that's, uh, I can, I can see how, um, from my own personal experience, uh, being able to marry words and, and images together will, would make a very powerful statement about who they are right. and make it that much more attractive for somebody looking for someone just like them to work with them, right? In right. So, and I, you know, we talked about Team X, and that's actually the goal of specialism is right. to show who you are to the world so that people that are like you... Um, it's not showing everything that you are to the world. And some of us have, you know, negative things in our past. We don't necessarily want to show that, but it's finding what you want to celebrate and the things about yourself that you want to celebrate and share with the world that way. Oh, wonderful. That's great. How can, uh, obviously vivid and brave.com is, is the site. Um, I'm going to, uh, definitely post this on, on my blog, but if someone were to uh, have to, or need to have questions answered, would it would be okay for them to contact you either directly to that through the website or through my blog post and comment below? Is that is that an option? Absolutely. Excellent. Christine, thank you so much for making the time. Uh, again, I have no idea where you are in Canada, but uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's in a place where it's raining outside, so there's no natural light today. <laughs> uh, one's got to love that that green fluorescent light. Uh, I know. <laughs> from a hotel room um it, it creates such warmth and then such know, a glow such a glow indeed thanks again for joining us i appreciate your time and if uh there are questions i i do welcome my audience to uh connect with you through the the comment section below and uh, we'll take it from there thanks thank again you. bye bye